Good morning, guys. Uh, I just want to share this information I have about God Report. Uh, the subject that we will be discussing is understanding the God Report or CFTC God Report. Some of you might be wondering what is court report and I believe that some do know about the court report and some might be struggling to interpret the court report. The commitment of traders court report. It is a weekly publication that shows the position of different participants in the US market published by the Community Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, every Friday. The report is the, is the record of the position taken on Tuesday of that same trading week. This means that the report is delayed by three days before it can be published. And I know some might be wondering how can this help me since well it is delayed why can't they give us the report on the very same day after they submitted it and it doesn't mean because of the report is delayed by three days it cannot even help us you must understand that the institutions the big banks when they trade they take long term trades because of their trading a huge amount of money so they do not even they trade so if you can know where they are going then you will be able to know what to expect in the next three to six months or even nine, nine months how does the court report benefit traders The report provides traders with the insight on which positions are bought and sold by the institutions and this can be seen by traders as a market signal on which to trade. Traders can use the report to help them determine whether they should take a short or a long position in their trades. What types of reports do we have on, on CFTC? There are four different court reports. The first one is delicacy report, supplemental report, disaggregated report, and the futures report. So you need to know which report you need to follow. So since well we are trading the, the forex market, the report that we are going to focus on is the futures report. Special considerations, the things that we must, we must consider about. The importance of court report cannot be overstated. It is a core data for traders and for academic resource on pricing trends in the futures market. Our focus will be more on the futures report because we trade forex market. There are two types of institutional report under the futures report, commercials and the non-commercials. Commercials and non-commercials objective. Commercials, they trade to reduce the risk. Non-commercials, they trade to make money. So the reason why we will focus more on the non-commercials is because of we as retail traders, the objective of the non-commercial traders 
is the same as our objective. We come into Forex market simply because of we want to make money, nothing else. That's the reason why we're gonna focus on them because we believe that if they have the same objective as we do, and if they try to make money as we do, it is the best decision to do, to follow what they are doing. Since well, they are more smarter and they, they have access to the information that most of the retail readers do not have. So as long as we can know where they are going, we can trust their leading and follow them. reasons to follow the non-commissions we follow non-commissions report because we as retail traders and non-commissions our objective are the same as I've said before that's the reason why we're gonna focus on following them they are able to pick long-term trends so we follow them because of we know that if we can manage to see where they're going we know what to expect for the next three six or nine months we don't we won't bother again wondering what is the trend but we will know what to expect we can make money simply by following them that's one of the reasons why we, we focus on following them. There's a say that says the market is like a dog. When you can see the tail of the dog, even if you don't see the head of the dog, but you will know the direction where the dog is going. So just like when you can know where the non-commercials have invested their money, even if you don't see why are they doing that but simply by seeing where they've invested their money that's where the market will go okay guys uh let's go to the website and see how this report looks like mm, okay guys uh, we have come to the website this is how the website looks like you just go to your browser and type cftc.gov then it will take you straight to this website of the where you will get your code report so the first thing that you you want to do when you get to your website is to scroll down and you look for commitment of traders then you click on commitment of traders and then you scroll down after it opened you keep on scrolling down First one is desegregated futures only. Then you come here on futures only. Then you come to the second one where it says Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Then you click on the short format. This is how the report looks like. Then you, you scroll down. And the first one should be Canadian dollar. Yes, the first one is Canadian dollar. And if you can see, we have the non commercial traders, we have the commercial, and we have the non reputable positions basically we retail traders we fall under the non reputable positions so we don't care about this one because of most of the times they are wrong that's the reason why we do not even want to care about them and remember this one we said they trade to register risk that's the reason why we don't we don't care about them 
and you must understand that these numbers is not the amount of money but it is the number of the positions which they are currently holding and we have the long and we have the short the good part about the the report is that uh, they did not give us a space but they did give us as currencies so where it says Canadian dollar you, you have to understand that you are working with Canadian dollar alone and but you know that on the forex chart there's no way you can get Canadian dollar alone you will get it paid with US dollar Canadian so you will have to to pay them for yourself and see what to expect so how do we compile the report we take the long and the short then we mal we we minus the short from the long then the amount that is going to give us that's the net positions so if they are net long we know that canadian dollar is strong and if they are net short we know that canadian dollar is weak okay uh, let's go to the spreadsheet and i will share how how i use the the code report and you will see how everything is is building up and coming to to build one big picture okay guys uh, this is how it looks like uh, as you can see we are currently on US dollar index and if you can check around June just scroll down if you can check from okay let's scroll down again uh, if you remember last year after they announced the draw after they announced the lockdown uh, US dollar just started selling it started selling until until January and it kept on consolidating then it started to rise but this is what I want to show you as from from January from July uh, they switched from negative to positive and ever since you can see the column of F that's their net positions ever since see, ever since they've been on they've been positive and bullish and the trend has been bullish ever since then so basically what it does it gives us the the long term trend it gives us the long term trend that's what it do it provides us with the knowledge of what the institutions are doing and let's check this let's use this color you can see that from july up to now what they did they kept on increasing the long and on the short they just kept consolidating they did not increase them that much and they did not decrease them that much but because of the way increasing their long their net long position kept on growing and increasing and that's the reason why 
they have been they have been so much uh, uptrend and and if you can see the open interest as well if you can see the open interest as well here they kept on increasing their open interest so basically the open interest is the percentage of of the positions which they they have in the market and you can see that some kept on closing and they kept on increasing their long and our trend here on the indicator kept on growing kept on growing it kept on increasing up to now and let's go to the chat and see if this report is is helping on predicting the price or not Since as you can see, I guess we had the bullish trend, we had a bullish trend, and November we had the bullish trend as the court report has predicted. Uh, basically, when you know where they are going, uh, then you know what will happen in the next month. So now we are the month of December, and price is starting to just like as I have predicted last week when I dropped the video on, on Thursday. So the trade it is this analysis analysis it is made purely from price analysis. Here we went against the report simply because of uh, I saw some reasons to go against the report. Uh, one thing about the report you must um, you must know is that uh, it does not call the tops and the bottom of the market. But when you you are able to use the report, you can see when the the tops and the bottoms are about to okay. You will see them by increasing or decreasing the positions. When they start to decrease the long positions. While we have the very shorter block, you must start to prepare yourself for the reversal. And this is what I did, even on the court. I saw that they are increasing again their long, their short positions. And I knew that because of they've been consolidating on their short positions, and when they start to increase them, they're increasing them because of this something that they want to do. When they increase their short position after the long trend, that's the sign that shows that uh, they are getting ready to, to take profit on their long positions. So this is how we called uh, this short. And if you can see ever since price has been dropping, when when the signal for selling dollar was given, price was around here, and the following day it just went down nicely. And if you still remember, I said that this level 
this is our take profit for December. And I said, if it happened that the market does not move because of December, sometimes we don't have uh, big moves. At least early next year, January, they should close and fill this take profit. So, but for now, everything is still intact. Okay, guys, we have seen how the court report on the spreadsheet and on the candlesticks, they are the same. Okay, guys, uh, I don't know if I should do a pair before I conclude. Okay, let me do a pair. Mm. Again, uh, I will do the pen next time. I don't want to, to keep this video long. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you you enjoy this kind of content or if it is beneficial to you. Please just hit that like button. Thank you.